Okay, hello everybody. Neil, we're back. Show number 900 and gazillion. A lot. A lot. Yeah, yeah. Tonight we have a great show because we do a lot of surf, skate, music, politics. We, we, yeah. We're going straight to high school sports tonight, Neil. Uh, I'm only... a big fan of high school sports. As a coach, like... Uh, just... You've been there, you know. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Yeah. But... If you don't know, you're going to know now. SoCal High, right here in Santa Cruz, literally four miles from where we're standing, won a California title for the first time. Dwight first Lowry? Time, the first time anybody in Santa well, Cruz County has won anything. Has Harbor won that? No. Santa Cruz High? No. Aptos? Nope. <laughs> Scotts Valley? Nope. Okay, let's move forward. Um, welcome back, everybody. Dwight Lowry, head coach. Welcome to the show. For sure. Uh, head coach of SoCo High football team, Jordan McCord right here. Welcome to the show. The wide receiver. Also plays defense. We'll talk about as well. Um, I just want to jump straight Also into track. This. Oh, track too. Yeah. Big yeah. track Where guy. Where do you put all those letters, man? Yeah. <laughs> Stitching on the back? Yeah. <laughs> we got, we got questions for him. We got jocks here tonight, you guys. <laughs> uh, first off, congratulations. Thank you. What a feat. Um, you have a football background. We'll talk about that. But as coach of SoCal High, I want you just to let us know why SoCal High is the first state champion in Santa Cruz County. How did it happen? Why? Uh, yeah. um, I think, well, when I, you know, I went to school there and whatnot, and, and when I came, I would always come back and stuff, and uh, the state of the program was just not in a good place, um, you know, for various different reasons, and uh, when I got there, there was a there was a hunger to get better. There was, there was a desire to uh, uh, to compete. And what to, year were you there? Two thousand what was it? Two thousand eighteen or nineteen somewhere? Two thousand eighteen, I think it was. Mm -hmm. um, Who was the had, coach back then? Like before? Yeah. Uh, Brad Tompkins. Yeah. He was the coach, and uh, there was just a little transition period. I think that he was looking to transition out of it. Um, and I was just in a situation where I didn't have anything else going on and had a bunch of knowledge and wanted to share that knowledge and it just kind of snowballed. And you know, when I get, when I invest my time and energy into something, I'm not doing it just to do it. You know, I want to do it to, to make it something special and we were able to do that. Oh, uh, I feel like you had a pretty good incline to success as a coach to go from coming into a program and turning it into a championship team was there is that your football background is that your mentorship what what made that happen so kind of quickly in a way I think my football experience for sure um just I played for a lot of different teams in the NFL a lot of different coaches a lot of different organizations some some situations were good some situations were bad you kind of see like all right I always had this thing where it was like if, well, if I was a coach or if I was that this is how I would do it or this was you know just in the back of my mind with certain things that that organizations would do, and um, I know what it felt like when something, when you needed to turn something around, what that energy was like, and that's really what my focus was, was to bring that energy right. um, to, to really turn it around, because that's what needed to happen first. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, to have success as a football team, you got to have, you know, great athletes like Jordan, um, and, and be able to, to put those guys in a position to succeed on and off the field. Um, and just, yeah, that's that combination just allowed for Jordan, did he motivate you? Oh, yeah, for sure. Did I he mean, scare you a little, too? The motivate Is the motivation coming from his experience as a ball player? Like, to not let him down as coach and his experience? I mean, definitely his experience because I'm, I'm trying to play football professionally, too. So, I mean, he's been there and he knows what it takes. So, just like, yeah, I mean, just he knows what, what I got to do. So, was, yeah, he the, was he the only coach you had or did you have a coach previous to him? Um, well, he, he taught, he actually coached my my flag football team when I was in eighth grade at New Brighton. So wow. coming, before coming into high school, we already kind of like had that. But that was team. fun. Yeah. It was. It was my first time coaching flag. And, yeah. and you know, it, you know him and a couple of other guys that, um, you know, contributed to the state championship team and, and just seeing them out there and compete. And, um, you know, uh, Jordan had a, a real uh, uh, quiet uh, hunger and desire to to compete and to get better, um, and, and you could tell that you could tell you could, he could. He's was he different than anybody else? Yeah, yeah. I mean, athletically, yes. Yeah. Um, but it takes more than that. You know, yeah. you got to have a certain mindset to to really succeed as you can as you climb up in levels. 
Uh, and he had that. And, um, you know, that's, as a coach, I'm sure any coach would agree that that's, you get excited to coach players like that. Mm-hmm. When you were in the NFL, did you have a desire? Did you have a desire to coach, or did you have when my career is over, I want to go coach? No, I had some teammates though that told me that I'd probably be a good coach. I, I just didn't see it. You know, yeah. I, I, I don't know. Maybe I just uh, I'm, I was very opinionated when it came to certain things. Yeah. Um, I kind of sometimes have this 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 kind of vibe where like I know what I'm doing and kind of get out of the way, um, which I think is good as yeah. a head coach, but. You know, if you're too much of that way, you become stubborn. You yeah. alienate people. So it, it's a balancing act. But uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I'm but I'm a big advocate on you know. If there's something that that you feel in your heart or in your mind that you can do. And yeah. You want to be successful at it, then go ahead and do it. Can I say something real quick? Sure. Today, my neighbor, uh, his name's Doug. He's getting close to 90 years old. A gigantic San Jose State football fan. We're talking. <laughs> 40 years of driving from Santa Cruz to every game. Rolled his Miata without a roll bar in 17 going to a game. This guy is San Jose football. So I went over today and I said, hey, we're having tonight on the show. We're having the SoCal High football coach on. He goes, Dwight Lowry? <laughs> That's what he said. Like he, First off, he's um, he's sunsetting right now. He was laying on the couch, blanket, you know. And the whole thing. Yeah, he jumped up. He goes, this is what he said. The best San Jose State football player he's ever seen. He said about you. <laughs> this is what he said. He said the dumbasses would throw the ball way in the wrong side of the field, and you would run like the wind and catch that damn ball. Is there truth to that? I mean, you went to the NFL, so of course. Only you would have a neighbor that would say that. No, he is a gigantic football fan, right. and and he went. He literally has gone to every game for decades. Yeah. He said you were the best. I appreciate that. There, there's a lot of there's a lot of history of San Jose State in, for, in terms of the football program and players that have gone there and, and have had success there and had success in the NFL as well. And um, yeah, it was uh, I, I, I the the amount of focus that I had during that time in my life was unlike anything I think that that as I've ever experienced. Um, to the point to where I think people thought I was like not human. You know, I literally had interactions with people. I was just, I was just so focused. I know I was going to a smaller school. I know I was from Santa Cruz, a small area, and I knew I had these goals and desires to, to play at the professional level. So I had to really lock in, and, and that's kind of okay. what contributed to that. Question for you, young man. Yeah. He he coached people on and off the field. Yeah. What did he teach you, off the field? I mean, really just like some of the, the technical stuff, like how to run a route a certain way and just like some of the mindset stuff off the field. So, yeah. You teach you like what's right and wrong as far as like, you oh, know. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, I, I, like you like said, I've been with him for like five years. So I've definitely like took in a lot from him. Okay, cool. And what if you, like, was there ever a time where you totally botched a route and you had to jog off the side of, and you had to look at him? I mean, yeah, there's, there's, there's some times where, like, I could have did something better, but I'm all about just getting coached. So, I mean, just take in what he says and fix it. Does he coach you after you make a mistake like oh, yeah, that? Yeah. He tells you what you did wrong? Yeah. Not yeah. put you in the penalty box? Nah, nah, nah. All right, that's cool. Yeah. And uh, and so earlier I asked you how many touchdowns you've had. Uh-huh. You said 40. I think like 40, 43. 43? Yeah, no, you got no that number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's yeah. For sure, you got to remember that. But um, but it, 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 that seems like a really nice number, right, Coach? Yeah. 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 And uh, and uh, so and then you also play defense. Yep, defense too. And uh, physically, a little demanding on your on yourself yeah, you, for that. You definitely got to be conditioned because playing both ways is not a lot of break. And I, sometimes I play special teams too, so it's really like three ways. So, <laughs> Coach. Put them in, right? Yeah. He's on every play. You got to have your best players on the field. Yeah. But, but again, right, that's a testament to him and his preparation yeah. and how he went about yeah. uh, his craft. You know, it's not it's not just a game to him. And, yeah. and you know, that goes a long way uh, for himself but also for his teammates, right? Like, it's it's nice to be able to go into a game and, and have somebody like Jordan that you rely on. Obviously, yes, from an athletic standpoint, what he's able to do on the field. But just knowing what this individual is going to bring to the table each mm-hmm. and every single day, yeah. that that is something that is uh, uh, very appreciated. So he's a senior. Mm-hmm. The season's over. Are you still coaching him? In some ways. Yeah. I mean, not as much. You know, yeah. uh, I think that uh, it, it has more to do with like 
getting ready for college, getting him to think about some things that maybe he hasn't thought about um, because it's a huge transition, right? Um, going from, from high school to college, you're going to have a lot of different obstacles that are going to be uh, presented to you that aren't going to be presented to you at the high school level. And just talking about those things and, and you know, I'm still out with, you know, I, I help out track a little bit, seeing yeah. oh, okay. a little bit here mm-hmm. and there, but, you know, it's, it's, I, I think, I think that Jordan, as long as he stays true to himself and, and doesn't, doesn't fall into some of the things that you can fall into once the, your world gets bigger, then he'll be fine. Coach, can I ask you a question? Is, um, what turned it around or what, what, yeah, what turned it around that made you a championship team? Because it, all of a sudden it was in the papers, you guys were going down south for a championship, to, for a championship, but you won. But there was a lot of people in Santa Cruz who didn't know what was going we, a lot of people didn't know. I didn't know. You didn't probably know. Oh, I followed it. Oh, I yeah. Mean, I don't know. I got but the what, 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 oh, <laughs> the years that you The years that you, after you started coaching, what, what did you, how did you get them to be, or when did you know that they were a championship team? Well, as far as, like, this team this yeah. year, I think after, really it started after our, we uh, beat Palma. Yeah. Um, Palma beat us the year before, like, a lot to little. It was it was it was a it was a beatdown. Um, but you can learn from that, though, right? You absolutely. Right. You know, it's not. You know, we we didn't go on any run that we've had. You know, we've had good teams since I've been there. But um, at some point in the season, I think for every team, you're gonna you're gonna have some sort of like uh, humbling experience. And last year, that was one one for us. Um, and and it was a point of emphasis going into the next year. Not necessarily that team in particular, but hey, we got to play a certain way if we're going to be able to compete at the level that we want to compete at, and that we can compete at, you know, with the kids that we have. Um, so I, so when we went out there, we won that game. It was a hard, tough fought game, and it came down to the last play. And um, you know, just proud of the guys' effort, and and that's why I felt like okay, you know, we have a chance, we have an opportunity to do something here because we, we overcome a really big obstacle yeah, that sure. we had the year b- before. And we just started the jail. I mean, I think Jordan can tell you better as far as from like a player's perspective. Tell us but, about yeah. that play. That play. Tell us about that play that, that beat Palma. The play that beat, I mean, Palma, that was, that was a close fought game. I mean, they, they got like... Pretty, pretty and you played, their, you played their ground, right? Yeah, we played at um, their, their big like stadium yeah. in uh, Salinas. Yeah, it was a hard fought game. I mean, they they got a pretty pretty good athletes over there, so it's fun fun to play in though. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I think going into halftime, it was tied, right? Seven to seven. I think it was. Yeah, so it was a, it was a tied game. And yeah, it, it's really just about like who wanted it more yeah. towards the end. So you guys wanted more? Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> for what sure. was the final score? I think four, fourteen to seven. seven. Damn, Damn, that's a, a close, close game. game. Yeah, that's really no. They were they were. Going... Who scored that? Who scored the last touchdown? Who's the winning touchdown? Uh, I scored both. Oh, you scored yeah. both. You yeah. scored both. Yeah. Do the ladies recognize that? Uh, I mean, a little bit. A little yeah. bit. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, let's focus on the game. So, yeah. Let's focus on the game. <laughs> I am <laughs> focusing on the game. We're talking about the ladies. <laughs> you got a girlfriend? No, nah, no. No. Oh my God. Ladies, Jordan. <laughs> You got an Instagram handle? You can tell you them definitely that. Definitely. Right, blow it up. Just my name, Jordan McCord, two hands. So. All right. His name is trademark, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it is. His mom's on. His mom's on it. I know his mom. Yeah, your mom follows you. Uh, she's looking up at you. Oh yeah, she's definitely. She's oh, like, ladies, don't say anything. <laughs> I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, watch it. <laughs> when you won, the, when you won the state championship, and you got all the kids over there, and you had a great time. Who was the first person you called? Oh my goodness, I don't even remember. It was like it was a blur, honestly. Like it, there was, there was. We had so much support, um, just just on the field after the game. I mean, it, it was there was a lot going on. I couldn't even remember who I called to be honest with you. We had a lot of, uh, there were a lot of families there. There was some alumni there, um, you know, the players' families. I mean, it was it was just it was an unbelievable experience to to win that game, uh, to bring that championship back to the hotel. This guy's walking around with with. Still with the full pads on, yeah. sunglasses. You know what I mean? We got the kids cheeseburgers after. Like it was, it was, it was just, it was really cool because I think that for the first time, our team, like our, our not just our team, our program, we all got to see each other in a different, like, uh, just a different element. 
I'm my my approach is you know I, I joke around and stuff like that, but I'm 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 more like a, a cerebral. I'm more yeah focused focused. Yep. Um, but to 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 be able to end the season that way with a win. With the championship, yeah. it's kind of like, all right, we can we can let the hair down a little bit. Was the, ch- the championship team, so obviously, see, championship right. up to the caliber of like Palmer was, you, or did you know that you 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 were you had a good chance to beat him? Like like after we played Palmer, before like, you play him, no. I mean, I feel like our season we, we kind of started off a little bit slower than we would like, but once we got to that midway point and our defense really yeah. started to like come together and we just kind of like just got everything down, uh, that's when I knew. So I'd say like. Yeah, probably, probably after the Palmer game. Yeah. Do you see? Well, I was going to say one thing first. Does track help? Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, right? I mean, it's always, it's always the 440-40, right? You can, run like, this, you can run that hill behind SoCal High. Did you get a 40 time yet? Uh, I mean, we, we did one in the summer. Uh, I, I think I got, like, 441. Okay, so, a 440, right? It's kind yeah. of that number that we look yeah. for. Yeah. Laser um, time, too. There ain't no hand time. It's laser time. Yeah, that's laser amazing. Time. Well, congrats to that. The teams look for that. It oh, speeds yeah. everything having a Most track good. background. The other thing I was going to ask... And Dwight, you can answer this. Um, it's not cheap to go to championship games. No. And uh, was there um, fundraising efforts and the, the, the district get behind you? Like, how did everybody get down there to do that? Uh, I would say it's a collaborative effort. Um, you know, from a district standpoint, they would have walked down there. Well, no, but it's but I mean, right? I, I mean, sometimes <laughs> your family probably pays yeah. money for you to yeah. be in this. Yeah. The play on yeah. the team. Yeah, I mean, it takes a, a whole village to get. Well, we did, I'll tell you this, um, and 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 what doesn't get as much credit as as it should is our parents. Our parents and our community are awesome, and I'll go with them against anybody else in any point in time. Um, volunteers, um, a lot of families looking to help in any way that they could, going out of their way to help. Not just from a, a monetary uh, standpoint, but just from a like we really want to build this community, uh, mm-hmm. this football community in, in, in SoCal, and it's that's that's been the beauty of, of all of this, and that it's 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 um, it certainly helped us when we went on this championship run because we're not we were, we we were able to build up enough funds so we're not depleted. Mm. Um, but I mean, ever since I got there, uh, nothing but support from. Uh, those families and, and community <clears throat> members, and really just you have good equipment. You, you, you mean you're you're cool with the level of the quality of the equipment that you guys have that I've gotten, or not I've gotten, but since for, I've been there, yes, for the, for the team currently, yes. And, and you know, I I, I I said earlier, I have a friend who coached in Scotts Valley, and he, he's having a hard time recruiting. Is recruiting to get kids to play football tough right now? Is it? I think so, and, and you know, it has. Well, I think it's I think it's in sports worldwide, but not just football. But you take rugby back in where I come from, and then and head, you know, soccer, heading the ball where you can't. Right. You, know, you can you can only head the ball if you're 12 years old and up. Yeah. I think it's a lot, lot of stuff. Lot of, uh, stuff's changing as far as I've been seeing uh, wearing the uh, honeycomb foam for practice. Are you guys doing that yet? Like, you... No, that's I mean they got to chill out with their prices a little bit before yeah. it. You know, uh, it's, it's expensive. It's very expensive. Okay, um, but. Would, would, you, would you recommend the kids to wear that in practice so you can do full contact a little more? I would, but I mean, I don't know, Jordan. I don't feel like we really like hit all yeah, that we, much. We don't, we don't do a lot of like like hard hitting in practice. That's why I feel like this year we went so far because we didn't have a lot of injuries. Mm-hmm. Like in practice, we, we'll do like like thud where it's like just like hit and wrap, but we don't really like go like full full out on each other. And yeah, percentage of injuries in practice versus game day, same almost. You think or? Is- the, are you injury, are you injuring as many players in practice as during games? Um, I would say it's pretty even. You know, we, we and and this is just for, based off just experience of being like being there over the years and and just following, still continuing to follow the game. And there's ways that you can practice and be physical, but not like uh, we're not trying to. Uh, uh, a gladiator scene. Yeah. Well, it sounds like. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, some parents mean. are a little nervous putting their kids in Pop Warner yeah. and working their way through the system. But, but what you're saying is, hey, practices and stuff are changing now. We're trying not. We're, our goal is not to get injured. I, mean, I yeah, saying. yeah. I mean, I, of course, um, the, the game is violent enough when you're actually playing the game. So there's no. We don't. We don't need to replicate that in practice. Now there is a there is a period that you have when you first put the pads on going into the next season. Where it's got to get pretty physical, but you 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 put money in the bank in terms of doing that. 
-hmm. And then you say, okay, we've established how we play now. Okay, now I'm going to leave it up to you guys as a group and as a team to have that expectation of how you play. We're going to practice. We're going to prepare for our opponent. And then we're going to go out there on Friday or Saturday or Thursday, whenever we play, and we're going to get yeah. it done. Mop them up. Sure. Tell me the most important play that you called all year oh during that season. <laughs> mm. and, could you, and was Jordan involved? <laughs> could, you, could, you tell us what that, could you tell us what that play was? Well, I turn the season around like this is the, just the, this is it turns it around right here. What do you think? Uh, I mean, there's a lot. <laughs> there were a lot of there definitely were a lot of. I, I'll tell you which one did in the championship game. Yeah, that's um, good. Uh, we we saw something um, before we went into half. We I think we ended with the ball at at the half. But you had film on them, right? You knew it. You knew yeah. about that team, right? Yeah, but I'm saying like this during is, the this game. Is during the game. Okay. Um, we saw something that they were doing when we did something in particular, um, you know, particular formation we went into and how they were playing it. And one of my coaches, uh, uh, Jay Clark, pointed it out to me. And we were able to see it and assess it. And then we came out in the second half and we called the play that would beat what they were showing us. And then we got a false start. Oh. And I was like, oh, man, okay, <laughs> nah, run it. Ran a play, touchdown. That's the one that uh, uh, the right second, out of the half. Oh, the second one? Yeah. Yeah. So that, that was, that, was that, that changed the time. That was, the state, that was the state championship game. That was the state championship game. That was the first drive coming out of the half. Yeah. You guys would put straight in? Yeah, straight to it. Wow, okay. And then defense held them off. Oh, yeah. Not another score. The game's over? Uh, essentially, yeah. Yeah. They scored late, but that was... Oh, so there was 14 zip at that point, and then they came back and got seven? No, it was, I think, what was it, 28? It was 28 nothing. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, they scored, I and think they, they scored, scored the last, yeah, towards the end. Towards the first end. person you called after the game was who? Uh, Give her us a her name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my, my, most of my family was there, so yeah. um, I, I don't, yeah, most of my family was there, so I don't, I don't really need to. It's hard. That's actually that. a yeah. really good question, because, like, you're so in the moment that you're yeah, not, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, since you won this championship, you got a ton of friends in your years playing football. Did they call and be like, "Wow"? Uh, yeah, and and just just people around town too, you know, mm -hmm. just just uh, just 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 genuinely um, um, happy for what we were able to do. And, I mean, you guys had a parade, you know, like yeah. it was a bit. It had to have been awesome, right? Oh yeah, it, was. it felt like you did it for the town. Yeah, the whole the, the whole community was out there. It was crazy. Can, can I ask, what's your expect, expectations for the year coming up, the next year? I mean, are the kids that are coming, coming to, to, on the team going, oh my God, they won a championship last year, we gotta, we got to do this this year? Or can you get everyone to like, what's it going to be, you know, do you understand what I'm saying? What's mm -hmm. it going to be like this coming up, coming year, SoCal High? Well, I, I, I challenge the team uh, in this way. That championship team, they didn't win their league. Did you win the league? Uh, mm -hmm. So if I'm if I'm competitively, okay, the chances of winning a state champ, a lot of things have to fall into place. Like Jordan said, we were relatively healthy, all those things. You know, a lot of things have to fall in place for you to, to go that far. But when you guys, whenever you guys at some point in time get together again with that team, and they win the league, yeah, we, we won a state championship, but. We want our lead. <laughs> you know, so it, it's just trying to create different ways to, to yeah. motivate them and, and to achieve something that hasn't been achieved before. Hmm. You sticking around at SoCal? Yeah, I have no interest in going anywhere else. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're, you're from here. You went to SoCal High. Kids are here. Went to Cabrillo. Went to San Jose State. Went to the NFL. And just so people watching, your NFL experience was? Team-wise? Like yeah, your teams that you... Oh, my goodness. Uh... Jets, Jaguars, Falcons, Colts, and Chargers. All right. Is Favorite team you played for? Gosh, man. Um, I, where I was maturity-wise, Falcons. Um, when I look back on it being older and looking at the whole thing, uh, I, I would have wished I was able to play for the Jets my whole career. Wow. All right. And did you live in New York when you were played for the Jets? New Jersey. New Jersey? My Everything's New Jersey. <laughs> my brother is <laughs> on the Jersey Shore. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's high school. As I told you, he's a 
Your U.S. track and field coach. Oh, right? okay, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, 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 yeah. That's um, amazing. Your, your favorite coach, your, your professional coach, who, who did you enjoy being coached by? Head coach? Yeah. Rex Ryan. Who? Rex Ryan. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I, I had a lot of experiences that I had as a player. And I was a younger player. I was in, you know, first couple years of, of the league when he was coaching there. And there was a certain culture that was at the Jets when I had first gotten there. And then they got rid of that staff. And then he brought his staff on. And it was a completely, like, it was like a 180 as far as, like, the experience. And looking back on it now, like, that, that's something that I brought back here. Um, in terms of the energy, like the energy that you create in 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 whatever organization, whatever situation you're in, yeah. goes a long way yeah. Yeah. in terms of motivating the players and the people that are part of it. Two. Two. Well, that was guys, Jordan. Your dream NFL team? I mean, my my dad. He's from Kansas City, and I've been a Chiefs fan my whole life. So Kansas City Chiefs would be nice, but <laughs> it'd also be good to stay. Were close you happy to when they win the Super Bowl? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're here, your dad was stoked. Yeah, you're yeah. a Niner fan. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's like, curses that guy, Jordan. <laughs> who do you who do you see who do you who do you see him uh, becoming in you know like a, a wide receiver that you saw in, during your day? Uh, anybody like him, or anybody could could be like him? I think the one thing about Jordan that is being overlooked in terms of his game is his acceleration. His what? Acceleration. Speed. Okay. Yeah. Well, speed, yes, but acceleration. You, first five steps. From going, from going to completely stop to those first, like, 10, 15 mm-hmm. yards. So you said you should have a good race hit right here, you and, you and Jordan's. <laughs> 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 Look at this kid. <laughs> well, I mean, well, with him, the ball, ball skill, uh, body control, you know, all those types of things, and, and, and just developing, it, it, it's – it's really tough state for football right now because I think the patience in terms of developing players isn't where it used to be. Um, you can really see it with, with college and e- even guys that are that are getting drafted to go to the pros. You can tell that like there's a they're just not ready. They're not getting coached in the way that they need to co- be coached to really be prepared to play at that level. Um, so that's the state of football, though. What, what do you think? This, I mean, the big broader question is what's the state of football uh, in high school, college right now? Um, you I see think kids, in, you see kids like him, like, like you know. I see kids foot, like him getting old. Football, not doing football because of the, what, the dangers of it. Uh, oh, now please stick with track. I don't know. That's hard to say. But then you track with football, you get the money. Yeah. Track, he you don't breaks have, his hip in track and doesn't get hurt playing football. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so it's kind. Of, and to <laughs> me, it's like you can get hurt doing anything. Yeah. yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? And it, it's what 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 do I have a desire and passion to do? Some guys, footballs are only, that's it. Yeah. And they don't have another choice. So, you know, everybody's situation is, is different. Um, my, where I'm coming from is more so like patience. There's not a lot of patience in the game. Mm. And I think that's something that could discourage people from playing or being part of it because it takes time to develop players. It's not something. So you've got patience from the, are the upper echelon of people organizing the sport or are you talking about coaches and players? I think uh, the money, to be honest. Yeah. Like the, the, the is there, Would there be a rush to get him on? The, how old are you? Uh, 17. Oh, 17. Yeah. But this, is there a rush to get him onto the field as a professional, as a professional football player? If you know he, how, if remember, let's say, let's say, how, remember the basketball, college basketball, and the only, at the Fab Five and these great college basketball teams, right? They're, they're incredible to watch as far as the Final Fours mm-hmm. and all that. But now, these kids, uh, these basketball players, they, they're gone after the first year. Well, can you blame them? No, because they don't want the money. Right. Yeah. No. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of where the, 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 they're, the, they're, they're having, a lot of guys are having to develop the technique and fundamentals of their game while they're a professional. Yeah. yeah. And that's happening because of the money that's in the game. And you're seeing it happening in college now with, with <clears throat> NIL and transfer portals where it's like, okay, I'm not going to get an opportunity to start. I'm going to go transfer over here. But there's no mm-hmm. – they may develop in that situation, but at the same time, it's like there's there's something to be learned from, okay, someone I'm competing against is better than me. What do I need to do to be better than them? Yeah. And compete against right. them each and every yeah. single mm-hmm. day. That's the part that, okay, how much do I want this? How much is the desire? What am I willing to learn? What am I willing to do? 
that's kind of getting lost, I think, in terms of the development part of college football. It's also weird right now because the uh, wide receivers, yeah, they're like six six now. Yeah, yeah. You know, and you're not, <laughs> yeah. but you're fast. Uh-huh. Is that your wedge? Is that oh, what's yeah. going to make mean, your difference? That's that's definitely one of my, my biggest differences. Like, track-wise, like, I'm trying to break the track record for 100 meters. So, I mean, yeah, you know, some guys are big, like, jump ball receivers, but I feel like my, my skill set's just different in a different way. I mean. You're going to lose them when you take off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and then you'll be open. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's the thing. Like in terms of just just development, you know, like like you say, he's seventeen years old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, there, there's you have to think about those things too. Like yeah. like for me as a player, I didn't really truly develop until I was like in my twenties, mid twenties. Right. You know, so everybody's at a different kind of level. Like I'm seeing it with my daughter. She's playing soccer right now, and she's she's playing competitive soccer. She just turned eleven, but she's just like way more developed than the girls that. Are at her age right now, but at a certain point in time, it's gonna right. It's gonna start to even right. out. It's the same thing with with these kids in high school. Like you gotta like you know, if he's seventeen, he hasn't he hasn't even hit puberty yet. He well, yeah. Well, it's like, funny is my wife's brother at seventeen was five ten, and at twenty one he was six four. Yeah, you know. What I'm you know yeah, so, like, so you we don't, don't know. You don't know. Yeah. You know. But I mean, you gotta look at it from a coach's perspective too. Like if I see okay, if a kid's six six and he's you know eighteen years old, it's like. <laughs> mm-hmm. Then now all of a sudden now it's like oh well he's got all this growth potential you know what I'm saying so mm-hmm. it's, it's everybody looks at things differently and and has different ideologies and how they want to develop players and it's it's a tough thing to Jordan one more thing you're yeah. forty how many my forty yard dash no 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 your forty plus touchdown catches you oh, had yeah. in yeah. high school was forty what forty three is is that number one for your four years is, uh, did anyone else catch more than you. I don't know. I don't. We we don't. Since we don't he's been there. Yeah. Is he number one? Oh yeah. Since number, he's been there. Yeah yeah yeah. Who? What's where's what's second place behind uh, you? For our like team. For your team. Yeah. He got forty four. For all that. So so hard. Let me let me make sure I understand. Yeah. <laughs> so his four years since he's been there. That's mm-hmm. it. Right. He got forty four touchdowns. Okay. So then who's the next what's, on yeah, our yeah, team? Yeah yeah yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just want to see how badass he is. No, it, it's badass. Like, there's no, 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 no question about it. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say maybe Braylon. Yeah, Braylon or Justice. Or Justice. Yeah. Yeah, like, but I would probably half of that. 20? Yeah, I mean, yeah, that'd probably be fair to say. I don't yeah. think anyone would be Well done, bro. Yeah, that's no, badass. What do, you, what, do you, what do you take from the pro ranks to the high school, from that going down to the high school ranks? What, uh, in the game... Uh, could you use like like in in like during the course of the game? Yeah. Oh, just in general, co- even coaching the kid during co- even during practice. Oh man, um, one of the goals I had when I first started was to trying to make this experience for these boys as close to an experience as as being a professional football player can be. Not necessarily with. Um, the, the 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 minute details of the game, yeah. But just the game day experience, how we practice, um, how we feed, um, and and just giving them a well-rounded experience when it comes to football. Because more than likely, a lot of these boys are going to be done playing football once high school is over with. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. want to make sure they're experienced, you know. So when they watch football on Sundays, they can relate in in some way, shape, or form. In terms of like the the, the, the build up to playing the game, do you do you know that uh, what you're doing right now to your high school day, your high school days, or most of the, what is is what you're gonna remember when you're 50, 60 years old, like TC and I? Heck uh, yeah! That's sure. those are the times you're gonna remember. I mean, when I was in college, high school, I remember my soccer team, my players, yeah. the games. I don't remember my math teacher. Yeah. You know, yeah. I remember my geography teacher. Mm-hmm. I knew what I did on the field, and and so much fun. So, you just these times that you're going through right now are, the, are vital. Oh, you yeah, know, you're sure. gonna remember them forever. Yeah, it also creates the work ethic. Yeah. You know, it's like you, you. It took work to what you guys accomplished. Yeah, and to instill that in kids is a life lesson. Yes, you know, and that's what's important. Is yeah. that you might, your future might not be football, but your future is gonna be hard work. Yeah. And then being instilled at this age that hard work gets results, it's going to help you immensely in your future life. Oh, yeah. It's a big deal. And, yeah. and the thing with football, too, that I think um, other sports can teach, um, but it's, it's 
football is a little different because everybody has to be on the same page to 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 enjoy success. You can't just rely on one person. Mm -hmm. And some when you fail, you're not failing like just like myself isolated fail. It's like we all did. Mm -hmm. So so we all can do something about it. And you have these three different phases of the game that can impact the game and, and we can enjoy success together. That's something I think that football offers that gets overlooked because, you know, we look at the physical part and the injuries and things like that. You know, but the, with, uh, going back to your Chiefs, yeah. Patrick Mahomes, they hand him the trophy. What does he say? It's the team that won this trophy. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't, wasn't me. Well, that, yeah, we sure. won it as a team, you know, and that's... Yeah. Honestly, that's a life lesson. Yep. Nothing is one. Yeah, it takes always a team in your life. But what you're gonna do? Yep. And I give, I give Mahomes. I'm a not. My godfather's a Niner. Like, I mean, I'm a Niner fan. Yeah. I was crushed. But he's classy, right? Yeah, he comes out. Right. He wins with a. He, he's gracious in winning, and so I was happy to see that. But it, you know, that's what's gonna take. It, yeah. it takes that team to. How long you been coaching for? How, no, let me rephrase that. How long you been in the game from the, when you, your dad or your mom first gave you a football top until now? Holy cow! Um, Tiny Tyke. I played my first football experience. Organized football experience was Santa Cruz Pop Warner. I was 11. I only played one year, and I started playing football again halfway through my freshman year, and every year since then. And with with that said, you, the most your most specific memory of you playing football from then up to now is was is what is when is what happened. Um. Wow. <laughs> is there one? There's probably a bunch. Well, what happens is, I mean, what we do is our senior senior guests, right? We always we always ask them. What's your favorite decade and why? Whether it be the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000, whatever. But so, we also say, what's your favorite day? Huh? What's your favorite you day? What's your favorite day? Yeah. So, you know, your favorite, you know, what, what is in your uh, answer mine about experience, your favorite day, your favorite day in, in the game, or most prolific memory was? Oh, man. I, I don't if have he, the time to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> or how about this one? I got one for you. Who did you run over in football that you were like, hell yeah? <laughs> I don't know if it's run like. So, <laughs> so <laughs> I want to hear it. So there was um, uh, Anquan Bolden. Oh, uh, He's a I'm not saying say run over nothing, but we were playing them. Um, I was with the Jets. He was at the Cardinals at the time. It was when him and Fitzgerald were, were playing opposite each other. And I'm a rookie, and um, he caught a pass and was like, he was he was working towards the sideline, and I was in the flat area or like like you know playing my zone, and I kind of got, I like I dropped down and hit. I didn't, I didn't like hit him particularly hard or anything, but my helmet hit the ball, and the ball popped out. And, you know, we recovered the fumble. I, we ended up winning the game. I think it was a – we ran away with the game. And it felt like every year after that, uh, and we played him, because we played him the game, he was with the Ravens, it felt like he just had it out for me. <laughs> he wanted revenge. Did he, ever, <laughs> did he ever say anything to you? <laughs> no, no, no. no. I don't, I don't, he, wasn't, he wasn't much of a talker when he played, yeah. but it was uh, – I, I just remember uh, – I don't know if he remembers that, but I, I just – you know, when it was – Whenever a situation where he could block me or things of that nature, it was I could feel there was a yeah. little bit extra behind it, you know. Well, so, he's like six four or something. He's a big dude, he, right? He was like he was a running back playing receiver. Yeah. Very physical, um, physical in his route running, uh, strong hands. Um, he was he was a, a, a leader in that regard. Um, you know, that's when you went to the Ravens. That's kind of you know they they the Ravens have a. At least what I've noticed over the years, they they always bring in like a vet that's kind of like a big dog that kind of um, just just has that energy, like physical you, you energy. Thanks for Ray Lewis. Can you mention thanks to him? Oh yeah. Right. Well, I I mean, he he was yeah one of the greatest players to ever played the game right. on defense for sure. When you do a play like that, uh, is there a little envelope in the locker with a couple of C notes in there when you <laughs> yeah. do something like that? Nah. <laughs> no. No. None of that? No. I always heard that if 
Something big. I, mean, I, I don't. I don't know if that's happening in other places. But. <laughs> you should have happened that day. <laughs> I wish. And uh, did you get a couple game balls in the NFL? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do. Um, um, one I got that I don't feel like I deserve was uh, when I was with the Colts. They they we we had played. I forgot who it was we played. Um, might have been the Jaguars or something. But I was a part of a team that like had the most consecutive wins like in the division so they gave everybody a game ball that was cool I got a game ball for my first interception with the Chargers I got a game ball for uh, um, uh, while I was with the Jets I only played one play on no it wasn't one play on defense I, I got a game ball when I was with the Jets and we were playing Denver and I only played one play on defense and that play I recovered a phone move to, to, to like seal the game Awesome. Uh, that was that was a special one because I was I was super competitive and wanted to play, but we had such a good team and I couldn't see it at the time. Just a young player that that was uh, had a lot of desire to play and be on the field, um, but that definitely was a special one. Uh, and you got a few helmets stashed too. Yeah, I tried to get one from the Colts and they just wouldn't. They're like, no, what? You can't. <laughs> like, what do you guys gonna do with this helmet? <laughs> you know. Um, but yeah, there's definitely. I mean, there's souvenirs, but the stuff that I'm actually really appreciating. Um, I, not that I don't appreciate the stuff when I played, but you know I, I had uh, one of our players, Cole Johnson. He he he, he gave me like a, a, a framed picture of a quote that, that that he said about me and and how I impacted his development. Um, he got a photo album book from um, uh, uh, is it John John Patrick? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Um, that he followed us throughout the whole season. Oh wow! And was snapping photos and got some really cool shots just from the whole year. Hmm. Those are just like some know, of the he, smaller things are the biggest. Yeah, things. man, because you're you, it's huh. it's you're 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 helping teenagers develop into young men or women. I get it. And I do that here at the skateboard shop. Yes, you man, know, I get and, it. And and for them to appreciate that and to to acknowledge it in their own way and to say like, here's how I'm going to say thank you. Mm-hmm. It's awesome. Well done. And congrats. Thank you. I mean, to get this championship, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not SoCal alumni. My family is, my wife, my kids, and, uh, and I'm so proud of what you guys did because, yeah. to me, you're the home team. I appreciate and, uh, So congrats to the championship. Congrats to giving back. I you know, like what you're doing is changing these kids' lives. I mean, when you're 20 years from now, you're going to look back and be like, man, Dwight, he, 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 Dwight was my foundation. He went, you know? he went Super Bowl, as they call him first. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, George, you, to you yeah. said yeah. that uh, you're still up in the air where you're going to play football next. You don't, yeah. You're you not committed yet? Yeah, not yet. You're still yeah. shopping? Yeah. Okay, still shopping. Yeah. All right, well, what, what, we'll have you back on the show. Yeah. Because uh, we're going to follow your career, and I can only wish you the best. Cause, yes, uh, I appreciate that. Because I think there's more. Yeah. You know, so let's look forward to that and uh, stay healthy and uh, be strong. And, and thanks uh, to your mom for setting this yeah. whole thing up oh, today. Yeah. So yeah. Your, mom, your mom's yeah. doing. She said, well, I want to get him on your show. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. and congrats on the success. And and to have that many TDs and uh, play being on three sides of the ball yeah. is impressive. Yeah. And, uh, and congrats. And to coach, keep up the good work, man. These yeah. kids need you. Yeah. They do. And the, it proof, we're, it's proof in the pudding. You're, 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 I got a question for Coach. You're making I'm not asking on, on Ross. Uh, after that, we're off the air? Okay, <laughs> yeah. we yeah. got that. Um, so I want to say congrats to SoCal High Football Program, to both of you, everybody involved, to the parents, like you yes, say. The, the parents, parents, I mean, they, they obviously have your back. Um, they're encouraging their kids to participate. Well, and it shows. That you guys are successful. So, yeah, you guys yeah. fire. You let them fire. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great. So uh, I wish future success. Thank you. And uh, we'll have you back next season after we find out. How it goes. Yeah. 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 So well done, guys. Thanks, guys. Neil, uh, what, we got a show coming up? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah, we, we got more shows, more shows coming up. More shows coming uh, up. And you have an off-the-air question that we will not ask <laughs> on the air. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start on the air. Okay, all right, here we go. So I can go to Tom behind, right? So one of, the rules, one of the rules I set from the very beginning was if you don't show for practice, you do not play the next game. Period. Okay? We go to CCS, right? I got a big game coming up in Burlingame, game, and my star player didn't show Doesn't up. Doesn't show up? He's down, I found out he's downtown with his girlfriend at a coffee shop, having a good time, not a practice. 
This is it for the CCS. Yeah, this is CCS. We've got a burning game, a CCS game, that's all. Mm-hmm. Goes, Coach, I'm so sorry, you know, it doesn't fit in well. I said, don't worry about it. Get on the bus, let's go. Okay? Took him all the way to Berlin game. I Best sat his ass on the bench the whole time. Wow. And we were losing one nothing. And the kids are coming up to me going, Coach, you gotta let Jose in, you're gonna have coach uh uh-uh. uh. Uh-uh. He ain't playing. Is that the right thing to do? Wow. Or the wrong thing to do? That might be a better question off the air. <laughs> I, don't know, yeah, so yeah, I, don't, I don't run from, from confrontation. The, I w- should, I I, say, should I have let him play? I would say this. I would have I would have talked to whoever the leaders are on the team. And he was the leader team. of the team. I mean, he, was, he was a leader of the team, but he didn't show up for practice. There was the rule. Hmm. It's quite plain and simple. How'd that go with the a, other parents on the team? I didn't give a shit. Oh. I was the coach. This is my rule. From day one, all of a sudden, it, what, what would it look like if the other kids... Well, there's no, uh, there should not be special treatment, right? Is that yeah. the... You got, I, don't, I don't subscribe to that. I think this, this is kind of what I think, and I learned this from you know, different coaches I've been a part of and, and have heard uh, talk. If you treat your best player... Like they're not your best player, they're not going to give you their best effort. Yeah, that's mm. that's just what I believe. Yeah. Um, I, I now that doesn't mean that I'm treating them special. Right. And I think Jordan would attest I didn't treat Jordan special. Yeah. Right. Sure. But I knew if he wasn't locked in, wasn't ready to go, our chances of winning are going to go down. Yeah. Right. So it's it's I think it's a that's why I, that's why I asked is like if they're leaders because yeah. we always we have like four captains that we pick yeah. and those are the guys that I talk to and say hey what do y'all want to do so and so is not doing this are we gonna roll what, what, what's gonna happen right you know okay and, and we kind of try to deal with it like right there in, in eternity right because yeah. at the same time if you're going to a CCS opportunity right what about all everything that they've done up to that point and it's just one mistake yeah right. And now the whole team's paying for right. it. When yeah. we've gotten to this, to this game for sure. that for sure. we mm-hmm. may never experience again. I might have benched him for the first half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah in I mean, hindsight, you know, like who knows? But my, me not knowing anything about till hearing it for the first time, yeah. I might have been like, "You're not playing the first half because you're a dumbass for not showing yeah. up." For I mean, I've, I've sat guys for a period of time because of certain situations, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, but again, I, I just. I just feel that you know I don't I don't I don't treat every player and this is the same like like um, Sawyer, yeah right. This kid is going to is going to show up every day. He's going to do exactly what is asked of him every day. He's not going to skip a rep. He's not going to talk back. He's not going to be a problem uh, 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 off the field or in the classroom or anything like that. Yeah. I treat him differently than other guys. Right. I point that dude out. Right. 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 So it's like it's not just like all oh, the best players special treatment. It's like if you do things the right way, you're gonna get acknowledged for that. Yeah. Love that. Thanks, coach. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Appreciate guys. You on that. Well done. Again, congrats. Yeah. Uh, you made our community so proud. Seriously. So well done yeah. to both of you. And um, looking forward to this season. Yeah. Hopefully we can repeat. Right. Is that the plan? Repeat. The plan. Or you want to win CCS. I want to take it one day at a time and make sure that our players develop and be the best uh, uh, version of themselves each day. And let the record speak and after whatever, that. Yeah. Because yeah. we didn't, with, with this team, we didn't talk about winning a state championship. Yeah, that wasn't, mm-hmm. that wasn't even really yeah, it. Was that, that first day, you didn't, you, that wasn't something that was in the, in the cards at all. No. Yeah. How many games do you expect them to win that, that when you showed up the first day? How many games did you think you were going to win? I mean, I, I definitely I wanted to go further in the playoffs than we did the past two years because my sophomore year, we made it to one playoff game and lost. And then my junior year, we won one. Or did we win, we won two? No, we just won one. Oh, we won one yeah. and then lost. So, I mean, me personally, I, I, I feel like we, I, I just wanted to just go far, further than we did. I mean, I, I knew we had a good chance of doing that. But as far as, like, state championship, I didn't think so. You were just playing for me. You see, he's got the earring bling over here. See that? He's got some earring bling. And by the way, ladies, I think it's Jordan McLeod TN, right? McCord. 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 Jordan McCord. Trademark. Jordan McCord, yeah. Trademark. No, no, it's TN, right? It's TM. Jordan McCord. uh, Yeah, just two N's Instagram. That's my Instagram. All right. Ladies, 
Thanks, guys. Hey, hey, don't hit him up though if you're not bringing anything to the table. <laughs> <laughs> the coach what speaks. Are they, <laughs> what are they gonna bring to the table, coach? They better, they, whatever his goals are, they better support him, and whatever whatever goals that 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 she has, then he better support it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, you guys, thank you for coming to the show. Yeah, yeah appreciate so it. awesome. Appreciate uh, Neil, thanks again. Great show, right? Yep. Local sports, awesome. we love that stuff. Black Cow's Lucky's coming up in two seconds. We'll have guy here any second. Uh, until then, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Another great show. T Fox, thanks for having us on Off the uh, Off the Brave Show on Santa Cruz Waves. That's right. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Yeah. Thanks again.